2014 is the year of Jim Ralph. At least it is for the Columbia Archives and for much of Columbia as we mark the 100th birthday of Jim Ralph. What would have been his 100th birthday? Jim Ralph, of course, passed away in 1996, but we continue to celebrate his life and his legacy. His life and legacy celebration began in the spring with a couple of events. The biggest was a big, wonderful event at Meriwether Post Pavilion. But as the year progresses, we continue to celebrate this wonderful life. This exhibit takes us through Jim Rouse's life. It begins with his mortgage banking company that he formed in 1939. It talks about his early pioneering development of shopping centers. It talks about how he believed shopping centers were to be community spaces. And then, of course, the exhibit goes on to Columbia. The vision was a better city. We all benefit from Jim Rouse's vision. The exhibit continues with his work with revitalizing cities like Boston or Baltimore with the development of festival marketplaces. And it concludes with a panel on Enterprise, the company that Jim Rouse formed after he retired from the Rouse Company. The work of Enterprise is to provide affordable housing for everyone in the United States. A visionary goal and one that the company is still working on. This exhibit is ready for its traveling schedule. It will be at Columbia Mall from August 11th through the 24th. And then it will be at the central branch of the library during the month of September. The Columbia Archives has another exhibit that we're showcasing at the Columbia Archives office. Let's go see that now. For the summer, Columbia Archives decided to concentrate on the lighter side of Jim Rouse, Jim Rouse at leisure. We, we combed through many, many scrapbooks that Patty Rouse had compiled of their life together. And we came up with a lot of photographs of Jim Rouse doing what he loved to do when he wasn't working. Jim Rouse was passionate about food. His kitchen was adorned with pots and pans and other cooking utensils, as well as many, many, many cookbooks. Other passions were enjoying the lake where he lived, Wild Lake. He fished on the lake, skated on the lake, he watched the wonderful waterfowl. When he took vacations, they were usually rustic outdoor vacations, whether it was to an island in the Chesapeake or cabins up in northern Maine. Jim and Patty traveled quite a bit. It was mostly for business, but they did find time for fun. Almost anywhere they went, they sought out the markets. This was both about Jim's love for, for food and, and exotic food, and also scoping out different marketplaces, which of course is something he built into his businesses. Rouse was an avid Orioles fan. In 1960s, when the Orioles were in the running for the pennant, he wrote a letter to the Baltimore Sun urging Baltimoreans to have a little bit more spirit. In the 1970s, he was part of the group that was formed to make sure that the Orioles didn't leave Baltimore. The documents, the photographs, the artifacts, all culled from our collection, give a picture of the lighter side, the more personal side of Jim Rouse. We hope you'll visit. The exhibit will run through September.